to my channel. So before we even get started on the whole purpose of this video, I would like to know how many of you do your hair and do your makeup before you get dressed. Then you go to take your shirt off or put your shirt on and you realize everything that you just did could possibly be completely ruined because that is me. I did it today once again and I did my hair and everything and then I had to go put my shirt on and it messed everything up so I just put it up like this because I don't have time to spend another half hour on my hair. So that happened. So if you're one of those people, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know that I am not the only one that ends up doing this. But without further ado, the video that we are going to be doing today is dryer sheets. Yes. So I'm super excited and kind of nervous <laughs> to tell you guys about all the different ways that I use dryer sheets. And I have like an infatuation with dryer sheets. I freaking love a dryer sheets between the smells and how soft it makes everything. I just love them. So that's what this video is going to be about is all different ways that you can use dryer sheets other than using them in the dryer for their actual purpose. Um, so if you're into those kind of videos, just keep on watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to join my family on here. So please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've already subscribed, thank you for just being awesome and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. And I'm trying to get 100 subscribers. I, once I get 100 subscribers, my husband's going to buy me a camera that I can actually vlog with. Because right now I'm using a big Canon and it's too hard. Or it's too hard to hold up in the air and all that jazz. So he will get me a camera. But I have to reach 100 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you would share and, you know, just subscribe. But only if you enjoy my content. I don't want subscribers that don't enjoy my content because I rather have little subscribers that love and support me than a whole bunch of subscribers that could care less. Um, but that's enough rambling, let's get right into this video. Okay you guys, are you ready? Because I sure am. Okay, so you can use any type of dryer sheets for um, these hacks, no brand to me makes a difference. Um, these are just what I have right now on hand. I also have this one. Um, first thing is first. And if you, if I keep looking down, it's because I have everything written down so I do not forget because I will completely just scatter brain and totally forget. So, first things first is shoes. Um, my feet stink, you guys. That's just reality. Um, most of the shoes, pretty much all the shoes that I wear, require no socks. Um, they're like the Spurries, boat shoes, you know. Um, I'm shooting blanks right now on um, the other brands of shoes that I have. But you get the gifs. They're the ones that just slip on and you don't need socks. My daughter is that way too with most of her shoes, but when she does need to wear socks, it's like pulling teeth. I have to literally hand her socks or she will not put socks on. Um, my husband <clears throat> works out in the Florida heat all day long, so you know his feet be smelling when he come home. Um, but pop some dryer sheets in your shoes overnight helps so much. Dusting. Dusting is another great use for dryer sheets. So. We all know by now that you can clean your baseboards and that kind of stuff with dryer sheets. I think that was like one of the first hacks with dryer sheets. Um, but other than just your baseboards, you can dust your house with this. Now, on my big dusting days, I do not use a dryer sheet just because you would be using a ton and it's kind of pointless. Um, these are great for just a quick touch up if you're having company come over or something. Not only does it freshen up your house, but it's a quick little dust. Um, and they help prevent more dust from accumulating. So with using these will slow down the process of you getting dust, which means you have to dust less. So who doesn't love that? Next thing, um, air vents. I have done this since I was in a home all of my own. Um, 
pop these suckers in your air vents and you're good to go. Um, I just slide them up in there. Some um, some people use bobby pins. Um, I think some people use like um, ornament hooks for like your Christmas tree. But I just slide mine up in there and then just take them down after a week or whatever. Um, great for that. I also, my nose is like stuffed all of a sudden and it's like tweaking me out. Um, okay, other ways that you can use these is for um, your pillowcases, underneath your sheets, like between your sheets and your mattress. Um, I've been recently putting them in the couch cushions. I'll take them off and wash them and then when I put the covers back on I'll just slide um, dryer sheets in each one of them. I also love using these. You can put these under your seat in your car and it helps your car stay smelling fresh. Um, what's another one? Pretty much you can store these anywhere underneath your garbage bag in your garbage can and it helps you know your garbage not to smell. Um, next is you can use these for dishes. I'm not even kidding. So I was at my grandma's house and we were having dinner. It was some kind of birthday party or maybe Christmas or something. Um, and I was helping her do the dishes and there was a pan and it had like baked on chicken and you know stuff like that stuck to it and I'm like and I hand it to her, I'm like, this one's got to soak, but the rest we can do. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. So she opens up the cabinet under the sink, and she pulls out a dryer sheet. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, my grandma's lost her mind. So she gets this dryer sheet, and she puts water in that pan, and she just starts doing like this. And I kid you not, it got everything off. So... Pop a box of these underneath your sink for any of your caked on food on your pans or your pots. Works wonders. Um, paint thinner. You can also use dryer sheets to make paint thinner. So if you get just like um, a bowl or a Tupperware or a pan, whatever you want to use, put warm water in it, put a dryer sheet in there, let the dryer sheet soak a little bit, and voila, paint thinner. Um, Another hack that I love for the dryer sheets is deodorant stains on your dang black shirts or your dark blue shirts. Um, when you get deodorant marks on your shirt, you just grab one of these out, wipe it on your shirt, bada bing, bada boom, off. Um, another thing, stainless steel. You want to shine up your stainless steel. You want to shine up your stainless steel. Wipe some dryer sheets on it and it will shine. Um, the final tip that I have for these, and I kind of wanted somebody else to try it out, the other part for me, and let me know in the comments below how it worked. But these work great for removing pet hair from like the couch pillows and the couch cushions. Um, I would imagine that it would work the same on your clothes, like if you have cat hair on your clothes. But I would like somebody that's got a cat that sheds on their clothes to please try this hack and let me know if it works on clothes as well. Because I do use those on my couch cushions and it works great, but we have a black lab and when he sheds, his hair doesn't like stick onto things. It kind of just lays on the surface of things, if that makes sense. And my cats don't really shed a whole lot so their hair is not on our clothes either we don't have a hair problem on our clothes at all it would just be like the bed and the couch and that kind of stuff um so if anybody has cats or dogs that get hair all over their clothes please like i said try this and let me know in the comments below if it worked on clothes just as well as it does on the couch and the pillows on the couch um that's it you guys i love videos like these i love finding new ways to use things that you already have in your home and and most importantly things that are not that expensive um one of the girls that i watch on youtube that i love to death she just did one a few days ago on um laundry detergent softener hacks and i was blown away about the things that you can do with um the softener and i'm thinking it's way cheaper to buy a bottle of softener like at the dollar store or something, than it is to buy certain cleaning products that we use when 
or even air fresheners that we knew that we use when this can do the same thing so I love hacks like these if anybody has any more dryer sheet related hacks please let me know in the comments below and share with everybody else um, if you want to see more hack videos please let me know because I love watching these kind of videos um, I know there's tons of things that you can do with baking soda and hairspray and lemons and vinegar and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, just let me know in the comments below what you would like to see and I will try to make that happen for you. But, my phone is ringing and that concludes this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!